Okay, we're going to be doing an isometric drawing. This is worksheet 710 in the grade 10 textbook, uh, HSE workbook at least. Um, they've given you a third angle orthographic projection over here, shown by that symbol. Left view, front view, that means that this view over here is my left view, that is my front view, and that is my top view. Those three views should be seen in your, um, in your isometric view. You've got a left view, a front view, and a top view. Right, um, you'll see over here, I've also got an auxiliary view, and that is what we aim to actually draw at the end of this. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just flap that sheet over so we can see the starting point A that is given on your sheet. And what I also did was I just drew this whole thing out to a scale of one is to one. Um, reason being is that I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to measure off on a ruler. Um, I want you to see where I'm getting my measurements from. These measurements are the actual measurements, um, the scale one is to one measurements that we are required to use over here. All right, first step is to draw myself a fish tank. I'm going to start out by drawing three very important lines. From point A, I'm going to draw a line coming out there, just a construction line, a line coming out there, and a line going straight up over here. And on those lines, what I need to do is to measure off the length, breadth, and height of this thing. Right, over here you can see that the height and the breadth, they're both 88. There's the height, there's the breadth. So I'm going to set my pair of compasses to 88. Let's bring that in. 88, and it says that my height is 88, and my breadth is 88. My breadth I'm going to be able to see on my left view and obviously on my top view. Height, I've got that over there. The other major dimension that I need is this 106 in the length of this thing. So I measure off 106 quickly, go to point A, measure that off, and I can now draw in the fish tank for this object. There we go. We did fish tanks last year in grade nine. Um, and hopefully you guys remember that. There we go. Fish tank. Oops, make that long enough. Once your fish tank is in place, it's much, much easier in order to get the rest of the measurements. Okay, next thing that I'm going to look at is, well, mark off what you see as your, um, your front view. Noting that if I've got a line, it generally means that, well, I'm going to be able to see that line on my front view, that part over there. Anything that is behind a line needs to be further back. Right, we're going to have a look at that. What can I see over here? I'll be able to see that line over there. I'm going to draw that in. It says that I've got 18. Let's measure off 18 over here. That is 18 over there. Measure that off accurately. Okay, I'm going to draw a line, just a construction line going up first. It says that I need to come down by that 25 plus the 21. Measure that off very quickly. Come up to that point over there, measure that off. And I've got a line that's going to come across like that. I'm going to need that 18 again. It says that this piece over here is 18. Measure off that 18. I'm going to come over here, measure that off. And I'm going to draw a line coming across there. And I'm going to draw in that dark. That can be dark. That part. You can see it's a corner that goes all the way. So this part goes all the way out to the corner. Draw that up to the top there. Draw that up to the top over here. That. That. And that. I can draw that in. Right, let's have a look at the left view. There's a line that goes all the way across 
Oh, it comes from that corner over there. There's that corner going across. So I can take a line going all the way across to the other side of the fish tank over there. Okay. I have another line that comes across over here, but doesn't go all the way to the back. It goes 18 millimeters away from the back there. Okay, so I must come along here. This, uh, this piece over here, you'll see 18 millimeters. How did I get that? Well, probably the easiest way is if I had a 45 degree line going over there, you'll see that 18 comes across from there, drops down and it should connect up with that part over there. It might be worth your while on the drawing if you're not quite sure, draw in a 45 degree line there and uh, you'll be able to get that. Measure off my 18. There's my 18 millimeters. And I can come along here, measure that off over there, and I can draw in a line that goes from there to there. Right, um, you'll see that uh, it goes up a little bit, and then it goes off at an angle, so I need to know how far up it's going to go over there. All right, so we go along here, and we measure off that distance. How do I get that distance? Over here, you'll see 29 going up from the base part over there to the 29. That links up with that little corner over there. I need to measure off that 29. Go over there, measure that off. All right, and now I have a line that goes across over there. I'm just going to use a construction line, and I can take a line going up over there. And I can take a line that goes up over there. Right. There's also a line that's going to go across over there. From that point, it needs to go back at a funny angle. What is that angle? Well, it tells you it goes 35 millimeters back on the top view. So I measure off my 35 millimeters on my top view over there. Go to the corner over there, measure that off accurately, and I can draw a line that goes back like that. Right, this is something that uh, I like to do. You go from there to there, and you draw a line. Now, what you can do is to measure off that 18 from there to there, or you can take your set square, line it up on that line over there, and slide it back to that corner. Those two lines you know are going to be parallel. They are not isometric lines, um, but you can still use your set squares to get parallel lines. There we go. This ruler being held down very firmly. Get the line sorted out there and slide it until you reach that point, drawing up to that point, and you'll end up with that line in the correct place. Right, once I've got that, I can draw a line going across there. Um, it then says that we can go all the way back to the back corner over there. That goes to the edge of the fish tank. This goes across here to that corner over there. Um, it then says that um, I go, uh, let's just find these measurements over here. Um, there's this little story over here, which I'm just trying to figure out where that measurement is. I think I might have left that out. Um, that's all there, but that's, uh, oh, there it is. Those two measurements over there are going to help me in order to find these measurements over here. You can see that's a 45 degree angle over there. Oh no, it's not actually, it's 24 back and it is 21 up. Right, that's very important. Okay, um, I'm just going to get those measurements in place. Um, we need to draw this part over here, which is a little bit uh, complicated in some ways. Um, it says that I need to go 18 millimeters, 18 millimeters back over there. So I measure off 18 millimeters. 18 millimeters from that corner. Measure that back. And I'm going to draw a separate little fish tank story over here. There we go. Um, it says that I go 21 millimeters up to a line over there. So I measure off 21 millimeters 
up. 21 millimeters up from there. All right. I'm going to, there is a line that's going to go back over here. You'll see that I'm going to put a construction line in at that point, at that 21 millimeters. But I know that because of that line, that line is further back into the drawing. Right, so how much further back into the drawing? I'm going to take a line going back over there and I come down to this left view over here where it says that I go back 24 millimeters to that point. I need to measure off that 24 millimeters. 24 millimeters, you can see that there. 24 millimeters to that point. Go up there, mark that off. And again, I'm going to draw in a line from there to there. Now I could measure off the 18 millimeters over there, or I could use that little trick that I used earlier. Place that ruler on that line, place another ruler underneath it, and slide it to that corner, and you can draw in that line going parallel, and that is in the correct position then. All right, I've got a line that needs to go across there. And then if we look at this left view, it goes back another 18 millimeters over there. So I measure off that 18 millimeters. 18 millimeters over there. Come in over here. Knock that over there. And I've got another line that is going to come back. How far back does it need to come? Well, it needs to go and link up with this line and that line. Remember, two lines going into corner. I need a third line coming across. There's my third line. I'm going to draw a line coming across there. And a line coming over there. Right, over here, I know that this corner is at the very top, so I can draw a construction line going across there. And I'm going to draw a line coming from one, two lines going into that corner up to there. Just gonna finish that off since I hadn't done that yet and draw a line going across to there. Right, um, there's a line coming up from that corner, just a construction line first, and it goes up to that height over there. You'll see that height is that story over there. Once I've got that in place, I now need a line that's coming across from here, just a construction line, and I'm going to draw a line coming from there to there. That gives me that shape on the top. You can see that shape that I've got going on the top there. Um, let me just finish that off. There it is. There it is. Right. Um, this then has a line coming down over there. And I can draw a line coming across from that point to there. And I should have a line that comes across from that point to there. And there we go. We have got basically the shape except for the hexagonal part. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop this video. Um, and uh, we're going to look at how to draw that auxiliary view. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through this thing. Make sure that I've got all the corners. If you look over here, there's one, two lines going into that corner and straight away my mind's going, hey, there's a missing line over there. I need to draw a third line to fix that up. All right, any other lines that are missing? No, that is the basic shape. And the next video I'm going to do is going to look at drawing that hexagonal part and how to draw an, an auxiliary view. Right.